Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Thank you so much for stopping by, spending a little bit of time with myself today. That's right, Cassie is not with us. Uh, she is gone to church camp with uh, Ranger, Mazzy, and Ransom. So the whole crew is out. I'm the only one here, so I'm what you got. Sorry uh, if that's bad news and uh, you just love Cassie so much. You wanna click off the video? I'm. Please don't, please just stay. I plead, I beg, please stay with me. No, I'm just joking. Uh, Cassie will be here hopefully on the next video, but stick around because we have something we gotta do today. So if you guys see that, you know what that is? That is a dog collar, and it's a dog collar for a dog that wears a collar about one time a year. And that would be our girl right here. Hey, Zena, you taking a nap? Come here. How are you, baby? Yeah. So this is our livestock guardian dog, Zena. If you've been around our channel very long, you know that Zena takes care of our goats, our chicken, chicken that's in here, our rooster, um, our alpacas. I don't know if she really guards them as much as they guard her. I'm, I don't know about that. And uh, we've got turkeys in here, Indian runner ducks. Zena is a very valuable asset to the farm. And today is her annual rabies shot and checkup. So I'm gonna get the pickup out, load her up and take her over there. But I haven't had her weighed uh, in a year. So what do you guys think she weighs? We'll look at her. Zena, come here. Zena, come here girl. All right, you guys size her up. All right, put your guesses down in the comments. What do you think Zena weighs? Last time, I think it was around 80 pounds. Uh, she wasn't probably fully grown at that point. At this point, I'm gonna say she's fully grown. Uh, this should be interesting. I'm gonna get her on her lead and try to get her in the truck. I don't know how she'll do. Like I said, she only loads up about once a year, but I'm hoping she'll do great. And when we get back, we are going to show you what we've been doing with Hercules. That is K&S Get Out's uh, new livestock guardian dog puppy. Right now he's over there chilling. Let's see. Hey, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. He's ignoring me just like all the other animals on the farm, but he's over there uh, in the shade right now. But I'll show you what we've been doing with him to get him used to the animals for Kyle and Shannon. So whenever he gets over there with goats, it's not something new and foreign to him. But first things first, let's get Zena to the vet and get her checked out, checked up. Uh, and then we'll check out Hercules. Yes, Hercules. I can say it. I can finally say it. Uh, we've waited so long to be able to say Hercules because it was a secret, but they said it over on their channel already, so we don't have to worry about ruining their surprise or anything like that. Uh, but now, I gotta, I gotta get to the vet. Watch out, babies. No. Come here, baby. Zena! Come here, baby! Zena! Jojo! Whew. 
So that is not an easy feat because Zena is big. And once she realizes that you're going somewhere and she's going in the truck, she's not happy about it. So Zena, you cost me about 10 extra minutes, baby. But it's nice and cool in there. It's air conditioned, so she's in good shape. And uh, we're only about 10 minutes away. So we're gonna head to the vet. and we made it come on girl come on come on come on come on come on baby come on let's go this way let's go this way oh yeah come on baby there we go there we go come on it's not bad baby see we'll get you up on the scale in a minute let's see how big you are let's see how big you are come here Let's see how much you weigh. She likes to get Zena, you're getting big. I thought you'd be a hundred pounds by now. Woo! Well Zena had me sweating. I did not want her to slip her collar off. That's what she did the first time at uh, the house. She slipped her collar and ran away from me. And I got her, put her back in in time. But she did great. She went in there like a champ, um, got her shots. She got about five feet from the door and refused to move. So I had to pick her up and carry her. And 100 pounds is a lot to carry. <laughs> but Zena, you're a good girl, okay? Everybody's happy that you got your your vaccinations and that you got uh, your rabies shot because rabies is very important for a livestock guardian dog. Uh, if they do have to get in a confrontation with a wild animal, they need to have that rabies shot because you never know what those animals could have. So let's head back to the house and we'll get Zena um, put up and back at home with her goats. Oh, you get your thing. Good girl. Good girl, Zena. All right, come on, baby. Let's go back to the goats. Let's go back to our goats. All right, so you guys saw it. Zena is a great dog. She doesn't really like the vet that much, though. I can understand why. Hey, Alvin. Looks like you've been digging, Zena. You digging to China or what? Good girl. All right, Alright, you're free. You're free. You're free. Alright, you're a good girl. So Zena did great in the vet. Uh, she weighs 97 pounds. So she has gained quite a bit from the last time we took her. She uh, did get spayed, which um, does let them gain some weight. So. A lot of that's the reason why, and some of you may say, is that a is that a horse lead that you're leading Zena with? Yeah, she's big as a horse. Therefore, I have a horse lead to lead her with as my as my uh, lead rope, so so to speak, and it works pretty good. So I got to go get a different lead for my next project. But some of you may notice that I drove the brown Ford, and that is because the air conditioner is now fixed. So as you guys know, I, I told you about last time the tried to get the air conditioner working and I couldn't get it, but I got it fixed. It was the, it wasn't uh, the Freon, that was in good shape. I was adding Freon 
and checking it, making sure it was the right level. And I didn't even need to do that. It was the actuator door. So the actuator door was not opening fully and they had to replace it. Cost around uh, like 200 bucks, but it's working. <coughs> Goodness. So it's working. The air conditioner is now working. Zena and I both appreciated it because it is right at 100 degrees right now, is what the dash said anyway. So let me get that other lead and uh, we're gonna let that other pup out and see if little Hercules can familiarize himself some more with the goat. Jojo, Jojo sums it up right here. You make me have to change this water out every single day, Joe. You just get in there and get all wet. Here, let me help you out. Hey, nothing like a little bath, a little time to get wet. And the pups, they are doing great. Let me get in here and show you. Hey, Hercules. So they have the regular water right here. And sometimes they still like to get in it, but then they have this little kind of a bath thing over here. Uh, and we moved their food to the fence because they just kept spilling it when it was in that regular trough right there. So Hercules, you wanna go hang out with the goats for a little bit? Hey baby, you doing okay? You sure are pretty. Hey. hey. All right. Yeah, I know, I have on clothes that you like to get a hold of with them puppy teeth. Them little puppy teeth, I see them. Oh yeah, they're sharp. They're sharp. All right. All right, we got Hercules out. Hey, those aren't yours, those aren't yours. These are the other puppies. We don't give these to Hercules, they belong to her for um, her little bit of discomfort that she has from just a natural uh, deformity when she was born. So these are the Hemp Chews Mobility Formula. Chad over at Adler Farms told us about them. Oh, Hercules wants a belly rub. You're all wet too. All right. But these seem to be working uh, pretty well. We gave uh, two a day is what we give them. But Chad, Chad recommends them and so far I think they're working good. Come on, buddy. Come on, Hercules. Come on. It's easier to learn this when you're uh, 25 pounds and not 100 pounds. Come on, let's walk over here. Let's walk over here around this pony. Yeah. Let's walk over here around the pony, see? See? See, that pony ain't gonna hurt you. Lulu's a good girl. So we just like to take her, take him around, kind of let him get to know some of the animals, just to become familiar. And he's like, I know, I've been out here, I don't care about them. All right, you wanna go to the goat pen? Come on. Oh, or bite your collar or your lead. Come on, Hercules. And if I can, when I lead him, I only give him about, oh, about three foot like that. Come on, come on. Let's walk, let's walk. And then he starts walking pretty good usually. Come on. Hey, goats. All right, we're gonna let you loose. He says, what's up, sister? Man, Hercules does have some pretty color though. Look at his back. He's got this beautiful markings back here. Around his eyes, kind of looks like uh, Xena or Smokey. All right, how about come over here in the shade, pup? Let's come over here in the shade. Come on, come around these turkeys. Hey girls. <laughs> so Zena, Zena kind of keeps a close eye on him while he's out here, as she does everybody that's out here in the pen. But you can see he's not uh, aggressive towards any of the animals at all. He's been used to um, animals his whole life. Even before he came to our farm, uh, he was out there with animals. So to us, um, training a livestock guardian dog is more about 
getting him uh, comfortable being around animals more so than any kind of commands or anything right now. So I think it would be nice if he would learn down and a few things like that, but you can see he's not doing anything to warrant me to tell him to get down or to stop. If he did do that, I would say down with a firm voice, um, but whenever he gets to Kyle and Shannon's, Kyle will work all that out with them and Shannon will um, work on words that work for him and them. But right now, look at him. He just looks like he's a happy dog in general. I just love him. I just love you, buddy. All right. This is Ranger's little favorite goat, Rowdy. I think Ranger said he wants to keep him, so we'll see. He's just your size. There you go. So Rowdy was kind of setting a boundary there, saying, hey, don't be coming after me. And the, um, Hercules didn't give him any problems. So I'm guessing if Xena is 100 pounds, I'm guessing Hercules will be anywhere between 125 and 150 when he's full grown because look how broad he is in the chest and look how big those feet are. So I think he's going to be pretty good size. So while we're out here, let's check in and catch up on the Indian runner ducks. They're still doing good. Hey guys. I've actually seen the Indian runner ducks get after Xena. So they kind of keep Xena in line. The, uh, the black one is the male and he's really protective of his ladies. You'll see He'll, he'll run after some of the other animals sometimes, including Xena. He's not scared. So, And Mariposa, in all her beautiful makeup and glory. How are you, girl? Huh? I don't have the water hose right now. I can't spray you down. You doing all right? It's not quite time to eat yet. I'll feed you in just a little bit. I know, everybody wants to eat, and I'm not feeding you. And our Kiko does that we reintroduced, they're doing good. Uh... This one belongs to this mama right here. Luckily, we haven't seen any of them um, try to suck. I think after we uh, weaned them for about two months, they are past that point. So, and the mamas are probably past the point of any of giving any milk. So, hey, Shadow, <coughs> and there's Shadow baby. I think it's interesting how the mamas and the babies kind of stick together right now. Mama baby, mama baby. So even though they've uh, been separated and weaned. They still like to see how that when they rub, they rub right by each other. They still like to hang out with each other. I think that's pretty cool. Well, got an Indian runner duck. You learning the ropes, kid? So Hercules just took off. He heard his buddy over there barking at the horse and he said, I gotta go check it out and see what's up. Natural instincts, uh, they hear something in the pen that's not normal. They run off, check on it. Xena's used to the puppies barking, so she's staying right here with her animals. But he's already has instincts. We've noticed uh, the other day we put a pipe up against the fence and the pipe hadn't been there and he realized that it was out of place. He went over there and started barking at a pipe. So he understands what normal is and whenever something's not normal he lets lets whatever it is know about it he starts barking he's got a pretty good bark on him too so i think he's gonna bark out he'll be a great uh, little livestock guardian dog for uh kyle and shannon over at kns get out we're excited for them to uh to get some goats and get him because i think he's gonna be a good fit so i'm really surprised that cassie kept the secret i didn't think she could keep a secret that long she knew that his name was Hercules for a long time. Hercules. Oh no, we got a problem. I just set these down for a minute and the horse came over here and stomped it. I think it was the horse. So I saw over here, that's why you were barking. You're barking to let me know. I didn't understand, guy. But as soon as I noticed this, I got in here. I'm gonna pick these back up. You guys know Cassie's not gonna like this. He's gonna say, why didn't you set him outside of the pen? 
Well, I just set him down for one minute. I didn't think that anything would do that. Luckily, it looks like most of them are still here. I don't think that horse was really that interested in them. So I'm gonna get these put up real quick and I'm probably already in trouble. Cassie leaves for one day and look, I can't even keep it together. All right, so we had already used some of these and you can see it's almost still full. So hopefully I'm not in too much trouble. Lulu, Lulu, why'd you have to do that to me? Huh? Why'd you have to do that? You didn't even want to eat them. You just wanted to tear it up. Goodness. <clears throat> so if you guessed earlier on Zena's weight, 100 pounds was pretty close, um, but 98, is that what I said? 98 or 97 pounds? I texted Cassie, let me, let me see what it was. I knew if I didn't text her right after I got back into the truck, I wouldn't remember. So I said that Zena weighs 97 pounds. So if you guess 97 pounds, you win. You win the satisfaction of knowing that you can guess really, really well from a camera on a dog. But I don't have any prizes to give away today, so you just get the satisfaction of winning. Sorry about that. So also here on Catching Up with the Walkers, we always want to be uh, mindful of prayer requests. Uh, if you have any of those, leave them down in the comments. I would ask a couple of things that you pray for Cassie, Mazzy, Ranger, and Ransom. Uh, first of all, for safety as they are down at church camp as they travel back and forth uh, if you follow cassie on social media you saw they had a little bit of a hiccup going down there um, with the church van tire they got that taken care of though that may be another video i don't know what all she she recorded then um, also while they're there that they just um, grow in the relationship they have with jesus christ so that's really us me and cassie our jobs as parents uh, Cassie and I, our jobs as parents is to bring our children up in an environment where they can learn to know and grow in the relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, we are very thankful for our church that invests in them. We're thankful for our school that invests in them. We're thankful for um, the different opportunities we have to bring them to uh, church camp and to vacation Bible schools in our area. We are very blessed. Another prayer request, um, you've heard us request prayer for Kevin, uh, a guy at our church, a very dear friend of ours um, that is fighting um, cancer right now. If you would please um, say a prayer on his behalf, we would greatly appreciate that too. So thank you guys so much for following along with me, myself, and I. I wish Cassie was here, but she's not. But thanks for following along. We hope you have a great day. God bless, and we love you guys.